Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now let's solve this problem from chapter 3. The problem says that 20 pound force is applied to the control rod AB as shown. Knowing that the length of the rod is 9 inch and that angle alpha is 25 degree. This angle alpha is 25 degree. Determine the moment of the force about point B by resolving the force into horizontal and vertical components so we have to find the moment of this 20 pound force about this point b by resolving this 20 pound force into horizontal and vertical components we can say that resolving the force into the x and y components so let's say this is my positive x direction this is my positive y direction this is the horizontal and vertical direction so now is we know that this 20 pound force is making a 25 degree angle with the x axis or with the horizontal so we can write that this angle is this angle alpha is 25 degrees so we can resolve this force into two components one of its component will be like this this one will be f of x this f of x will be uh, 20 cos of 25 pounds and similarly we will have one component in the vertical direction that is in the negative y since um, the sum of f of x and f of y must give us that 20 pound force so f of y need to be like this so f of y is equal to so if if this horizontal component is the cos component then this one is the sine component so we can say that f of y is 20 sine of 25 degrees so now we are going to use uh, two different methods one is the scalar method and the other one is the vector method so for vector vector method we can write that the moment about point b vector this will be equal to the moment arm of a relative to b which is the position vector from b to a uh, cross product with the force which is acting at point a so as we know that uh, this position vector will be from b to a like this this will be r a b so as we know from chapter 2 how to find the position vector from b to a will be to start traveling from b in the x and then in the y so how much we need to travel in the x and how much we need to travel in the y to reach that point a for that we need to resolve this length uh, of the rod which is nine inches into its horizontal and vertical components so we are given that um, the length is nine inches so if we resolve this 9 inches into its two components, we will have uh, one component like this and we will have one component like this. So we can resolve this 9 inches into one component like this and one component like this. So this will be, uh, since the angle is made with this component, so this one will be the cost component. This is 65 degree angle. This is given. So this let's say that this is the distance in x so this x will be 9 cos of 65 degrees and similarly um, this distance this is y let's say so then this y that y distance will be a uh, 9 sine of 65 degrees so now we can write our a relative to b and that will be from b we need to travel x distance in the negative x and then y distance in the positive y so this will be minus x i plus y j so now the x component of r of a relative to b is now uh, this 9 cos of 65 so which we have traveled in the negative x and this is our positive x the positive x is towards the right so we travel this distance so that is minus 9 cos of 65 degrees in the negative i 
and y is this this is 9 sine of and that is in the positive y so 9 sine of 65 degrees in the positive j and this will be this whole uh, moment arm of a relative to b is in inches similarly we need to write that force f as a cartesian vector so force f will be equal to f x i plus f y j now f x is 20 cos of 25 degrees in the positive i and f y is in the negative j so minus 20 sine of 25 degrees in the negative j so now we we need to apply this equation this is the cross product so the moment about point b will be equal to r a relative to b this is our a relative to b and this is force f and we need to take the cross product remember so this is the cross product so for cross product we need to multiply this with this and with this as well so i cross i is zero and, and let me draw that circle here i cross j is k and k cross i is j and similarly i cross j is k so when we multiply this with this so i cross i will become zero and then we will multiply this with this so i cross j so i cross j is k so this will be minus 9 cos of 65 into minus 20 sine of 25 and i cross j is plus k and similarly we need to multiply this with this and then with this so j cross i so j cross i is minus k in the opposite direction this will become minus so we can write that plus uh, 9 sine of 65 degrees into 20 cos of 25 and that is minus k and this multiply by this so j cross j is zero so everything will become zero so now we need to find this product nine minus nine cos of 65 multiply by minus 20 sine of 25 so this is 32.15 this is 32.15 in the positive k and this will become minus this is plus this is minus k right so minus and this multiply by this 9 sine of 65 into 20 cos of 25 this is minus minus k so minus 147.85 147.85 in the negative k so now we can add up since both the components of the moments are in the k so k term can be added with k since this is the vector sum so 32.15 minus 147.85 so this is minus minus 115.7 and this is in the negative k so from negative k we means that the moment produced by that 20 pound force about point b is in the clockwise direction so the negative sign always tells us that the moment is in the clockwise so the moment is this force is going to produce the moment about point b in the clockwise direction like this and which has a magnitude of 115.7 and this the units will be pound inches this will be pound inches similarly we can find the same moment about point b using the the scalar method so we can say that the moment and that will that will directly give us the magnitude so that moment about point b will be equal so we can say r into f and we can use the scalar method for both the components we will consider uh, 
each component and then we will multiply it with its corresponding perpendicular distance from that point b so this is the scalar method so the scalar method says that either find the uh, for component of force f perpendicular to r uh, so so we will use this so we can write that moment about point b will be equal to fx the horizontal component of this force f is fx and its perpendicular distance from that point b is this y so we will multiply it with y so y into fx and since as we can see that this f of x is producing the clockwise moment about this point b so we will write minus so the moment produced by fx is negative so that is the clockwise so we will write minus and similarly this f of y is 20 sine of 25 and its perpendicular distance from that point b is this which is 9 cos of 65 and it is producing the counterclockwise moment so you'll write that this is plus x f of y and we can find we can write the values to the magnitude of the moment about point b this is minus and y we know that y is 9 sine of 65 so 9 sine of 65 and f of x is 20 cos of 25 so 20 cos of 25 plus x is 9 cos of 65 into f of y which is 20 sine of 25 so 20 sine of 25 so this will give us the same answer since as we can see this is uh, 9 cos of 65 into 20 uh, 9 cos of 65 into 20 sine of 25 and 9 sine of 65 into 20 cos of 25 so this will be now this will be minus 147.85 plus 32.15 and this will give us minus 115.7 and this will be pound inches and again the negative sign tells us that the moment is in the clockwise direction so the magnitude of the moment about point b is 115.7 pound inches in the clockwise direction so this is the solution of this first problem from chapter 3 uh, engineering mechanics by baron uh, baron johnston i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from chapter 3